Unmanned aerial vehicles are more powerful and less expensive than ever, and innovative systems like the American Puma 3AE promise to provide reliable and comprehensive air support for military factions worldwide, while keeping the use of human and material resources at a minimum. Capable of operating under any weather conditions while landing and taking off from land or water, the Puma 3AE can silently pierce enemy lines and use its state-of-the-art surveillance equipment to gather vital intelligence data on enemy assets while keeping air men and women safe from harm. The system can be carried in a medium-sized travel case and can be successfully operated by a team of two servicemen. Also, with its modular payload system, it can be equipped with the reconnaissance or surveillance devices most adequate for each mission to provide troops with reliable, real-time intelligence even in the most remote places in the world. As global conflicts escalate in Europe, the Puma 3 has the potential to become a game-changer for U.S. allies seeking to defend themselves against overwhelming forces. And according to several analysts and military advisors, the cheap and powerful reconnaissance drone is on its way to writing a new chapter in the history of modern warfare. The Puma Solution As early as 2008, the California-based Aerovironment Corporation pitched the idea of a small, reliable, and inexpensive unmanned aerial vehicle to the U.S. military. The company has an impressive history of developing groundbreaking aircraft systems since its inception in 1971. From controlled, human-powered aircraft to the first man-portable unmanned aircraft system, to solar drones, and all the way to unmanned aircraft designed to look like birds, Aerovironment has spent five decades spearheading drone technology. Thus, when the company presented a groundbreaking design for a cheap and powerful reconnaissance drone capable of flying in any weather conditions, the United States Army jumped at the opportunity to develop the project. The Army was followed by the U.S. Marine Corps, which also placed an order in 2012. The RQ-20A, the first iteration of the Puma, first saw use in 2013, and it quickly earned a formidable reputation, not just as a military solution, but also as a commercial asset. That same year, the Puma became one of the first unmanned aerial vehicles to achieve certification by the Federal Aviation Administration to operate in U.S. airspace for commercial purposes. The Puma system would continue to evolve in the hands of Aerovironment, and in the years after the first proposal in 2008, three different and improved evolutions of the system have been produced, each including more sophisticated technologies according to the newest surveillance breakthroughs in the industry. The newest version of the drone is the Puma 3AE. This system takes everything learned in previous iterations to produce an all-environment unmanned aerial vehicle that can operate from land and sea with just two operators and a laptop. The Puma 3AE. The latest version of the Puma is as reliable and robust as its predecessors, but its performance and adaptability to specific missions have been drastically improved. One of the developers of the latest drone iteration summarized its capabilities, quote, The unmanned aircraft is designed for precise intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and expeditionary reconnaissance, or ISTAR, force protection, and overwatch over land and sea. The third-generation Puma 3AE was redesigned to deliver class-leading performance using a novel reinforced airframe with an optional underwing transit bay for secondary payloads and third-party applications. In addition, its modular payload system has been expanded to allow operators to switch mission modules on the fly for more adequate performance in day, night, and low-light operations in all environments. Deploying the unit is also a more versatile and straightforward process with the options of being launchable by hand, bungee, rail, or vehicle. With recent breakthroughs in high-capacity lithium batteries and wireless communications, the Puma 3AE has also drastically improved its operational range. Its users can remotely control the drone from a range of up to 60 kilometers, and the two powerful batteries equipped with each unit allow for over five hours of uninterrupted flight. The actual fly time that each unit can achieve depends on the specific surveillance modules equipped during a mission and the extent of their use. 
Mantis I-45. The most advanced surveillance module, the Mantis I-45, reduced the flight time down to two and a half hours, but it brought formidable reconnaissance technology to each mission where the module was equipped. The Mantis I-45 gimbal delivers lightweight, compact, and comprehensive visual awareness to the Puma 3AE systems operator by utilizing a wide array of state-of-the-art sensors, including ultra-high-resolution electro-optical and infrared imagers. The module is entirely backward compatible with other Puma assets, fully waterproof, and capable of providing nighttime and low-light functionality, ranging from near-infrared footage to long-wave infrared imagery. Additionally, the new gimbal provides full lower hemisphere coverage, continuous pan capabilities, and an outer configuration capable of withstanding even the most extreme weather conditions and mission parameters. Besides the surveillance modules, an optional transit bay can be mounted under the wings to incorporate mission-specific payloads based on the customer requirements. The high payload versatility of the Puma 3 makes it one of the most flexible reconnaissance drones available on the market, as well as an attractive solution for almost all military branches. Operation The Puma 3 AE can be operated in autonomous and manual modes. In the autonomous mode, the drone flies to its target using GPS technology to correct its course as it moves. Despite the automatic functions, the operator can override the controls at any time to perform mission-specific adjustments. For manual mode, operators can navigate the aircraft during all of its flight runs using AeroVironment's Standard Ground Control System, or GCS, consisting of a Panasonic Toughbook CF33 laptop with a larger screen removable keyboard. The GCS system is used by a wide array of unmanned vehicles operating for NATO. This guarantees improved interoperability while reducing training and logistics for coalition forces. The images gathered by the drone are transmitted in real time by using an AES 256-bit encrypted connection directly to the ground control system. Additionally, the essential drone antenna enables command and control of the Puma 3 up to 20 kilometers, which can be expanded to 60 kilometers when using AeroVironment's long-range tracking antenna. The Puma 3 AE is also equipped with an enhanced propulsion system, incorporating a two-blade propeller mounted in tractor configuration. The unmanned aircraft can fly at speeds up to 45 kilometers per hour while cruising at an altitude of 500 feet above ground level. Although no specific mission details have been revealed to the public due to the classified nature of most of its operations, the Puma 3 has been highly active during its brief years of service, and over 20 member nations of NATO and other U.S. allies have used the drones, including Canada, Belgium, Denmark, Ukraine, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. Many Puma 3 AE units have been sent to U.S. allies in Western Europe after recent conflicts have erupted over the region, and the portability, all-weather capabilities, and outstanding reconnaissance functionalities are expected to give a significant tactical advantage to U.S. allies in conflicts around the world. As Trace Stevenson, Aerovironment Vice President and Product Line General Manager for Small UAS put it, the Puma 3 AE is, quote, a versatile, rugged, and reliable tactical unmanned aircraft system designed to provide the United States Air Force security forces with the enhanced situational awareness and mission effectiveness they require when safeguarding bases. Thank you for watching our video. What do you think will be the impact of the extensive reconnaissance drones used in recent years? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and consider subscribing to Dark Tech if you enjoyed this video. Also, for more exciting history-inspired content, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels, and stay tuned for more.